Andrew Foster, a.k.a. Rube the Genius. Rube Foster, without question, the greatest baseball mind this sport has ever seen, and virtually no one knows anything about it, even though he is rightfully enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Rube Foster is that rare baseball personality that would have checked all three boxes in terms of Hall of Fame credential. Oh yeah, he would have gone in the Hall of Fame as a pitcher, as a manager, and as an executive. But Foster was best known as this visionary, this tremendous leader. He would organize the Negro Leagues in a meeting held in Kansas City, Missouri at the Paseo YMCA on February 13, 1920. He would rally eight independent black baseball team owners together. And somehow or another, he convinced them that in order for black baseball to succeed, they needed an organized body. Rube would become president of the Negro Leagues. Rube Foster arguably is the most influential person in baseball history, simply for what he did in forming the Negro Leagues. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the shortstop, Perry. The pitch. That's Off the, the mark there. And we're underway here this afternoon. And one and two. Seeing you, Rube Foster, he was such a mastermind both on and off the field. He reportedly was running a baseball team while he was still in grade school. So that gives you some idea of his drive. Foster comes to the plate. Up the middle. One out in the top of the first. Well, Boog, he had that. Kind of strict, intense upbringing with his dad, a presiding elder in their church, really instilled a sense of discipline and purpose in the room, and that translated into how he ran his teams. Sanders, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Rube really did have a serious focus on fundamentals and organization, presenting that professional front, and that's one thing he's remembered for. Snags it on the run, two down. Going back to that professionalism for Rube, one player talked about how his Giants teams would have really well-made uniforms. That made them look more like a National League or American League team than one that was going barnstorming. Next offering in the dirt, and it's one and one. He swings and fouls one off. Foster winds and fires. Oh. And now two and two. Two ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Welcome back, top of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Jackson. The wind of the pitch. That misses oh, off the outside edge. The next offering misses, and it's 2 and 0. There's a strike. That one in for a strike, 2 and 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch misses way outside. Got him looking. And there's one down. So digging in, Bradley. 
And he grounds one to the right side. Taylor handles. On to first. Oh. Two up, two down in the top of the second. West stands in now and watches strike one. They say it went. He goes down looking. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's a speed threat. Sutton. Foster back to work. Started to swing. Held up. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Late on that fastball. One ball. And down on strikes. Foster absolutely in control here in the third. And now here is Newman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Top of the third, no score. On the ground right side, Taylor picks it up. In plenty of time to first. And a couple of quick outs. Drake stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And a swing and a miss. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is one and two. Got him swinging. Rube Foster is believed to have created what we now know to be the screwball. Back then, it was called a fadeaway, and Rube perfected this pitch. So much so that the great Major League manager, John McGraw, would sneak Rube into his camp so that Rube Foster could teach Christy Matheson how to throw the screwball. Christy Matheson threw the pitch all the way into the National Baseball Hall of Fame that he learned from Rube Foster. All right, ready to get underway. Now the left fielder, Harvey. The wind of the pitch. Yeah. That's a strike, and that's how this game Hold gets started. Yeah. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing according to Eric Summers Gill. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Hayes makes the catch, and there's one down. The fadeaway, more popularly associated with Christy Matthewson, but today we get to see Rube Foster, the man who taught it to Maddie. Marshall, batting with one down, takes a strike. And a foul ball. Chris, the fadeaway, or screwball, seems to be tough for batters to pick up. Why is that? Well, for one thing, one Boog, you just don't straight. see it very often. And yeah, Rube was a master of it, but not a lot of pitchers throw a screwball these days, so you don't get much practice with it. Foster comes to the plate. The other way makes the grab for the second out. Of course, the screwball became very popular after Rube's playing career, but it's way less common now. Still some modern pitchers like Fernando Valenzuela got great results from it. Foster winds and fires. Stays alive. 
Man, Rube's fadeaway is exactly how you want to throw a screwball. It's so slow. It's tempting for a hitter, but it's also so hard to time up and make good contact on. Back here at the ballpark, now it's going to be Bell. And a pitch. Three oh, one. It's a good miss. The one zero from Foster, and that chance handled. Tosses to first. Oh. And quickly one away in the second. Taylor at the plate now as he chases after that one. Up the middle. Taylor picks it up. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Gardner at the plate now. That's ball one. The nope. next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. That's in there. Got him. Foster gets the strike out with that legendary. He earned his nickname, Rude, as a youngster there from Calvert, Texas, when he beat the great major leaguer Rude Waddell in a head-to-head -head matchup, and the nickname stuck. He also had the full repertoire to go along with this unique pitch that he created called back then a fadeaway. And so, yeah, Rube doesn't get nearly enough credit for having been one of the most dominant pitchers in black baseball history. Ready to go now. Now, Terry. The why to kick the pitch. Swings and misses. And away we go this afternoon. And Rube sets him down for the K. Now the number two hitter, Cole. In there for strike one. Most of Rube Foster's career was with the Chicago American Giants, but he was a dominant force on the mound even before that. Foster comes to the plate. That's ball, too. In 1903, Rube pitched four games for the Cuban X Giants against the Philadelphia Giants in a championship series. He went 4-0, all complete games, and gave up just three earned runs. Rube with another strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Gordon. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Hughes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Parker. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Going one. Foster making them look silly out there. 
and a swing and a miss. One gone here. So up next, Floyd. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Next one is off the play. Two balls, no strikes to count. And that misses off the outside edge. And he walked him. All right, ready to go here. And now Terry. And the pitch. That one in the dirt. And we're underway. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground, Taylor handles the chance. Not in time. He's safe. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Cole stands in here, takes ball one low. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Nobody out, runner at first. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So digging in, Gordon. And that's in there for strike one. Towards first, Bates to second. How about that double play? Yeah, the batter now, Parker. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Foster making them look silly out there. Next one misses, and the count is 3-1. Out front and foul to the left side. And Rube sets him down for the K. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. And here is Floyd. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two strike. Rube with another strikeout. So up next, Klein. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, one, one. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two gone now. And here's the catcher, Everett. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. And it's even up. Second inning here. No score. Fouls it off, still one and two. Foster winds and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. To first, it. and it's a one, two, three inning. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Leading off, Adams. Foster back to work. Foul ball. Foster comes to the plate. Ah. 
Cap dances out of the way of that one. The next offering misses. Now two and two. And the righty deals. Good eye right there. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the right-hander deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Here's Foster with the payoff pitch. And there's ball four. Thank mm -hmm. you. 